So that job I started, um, I kind of got up to the stage where I wanted it to be at. Um, I got all the wood glued together and I've also started uh, building the the jig for cutting the circles. But um, then of course the Irish government decided to do a pretty much complete lockdown except for essential services due to this nasty bug that's going around. Um, so I'm kind of left uh, wondering what I'm going to do for these next two weeks. Um, and I decided, sure, why not just continue this vlog, talk about how I'm getting on, how we're getting on here in Ireland, and maybe even start kind of a bit of a conversation with other people around the world and see how they're getting on in their own country. Um, I think the Irish government's response has been pretty good, um, although a bit slow. I think they probably should have done a complete cut down, shut down a bit earlier because this yoke is pretty contagious. Um, I suppose it took the contagious to uh, shut things down on Friday. Um, so now we're pretty much at a stage where you can only go out really to about two kilometers from your home if you need to go for a walk, which I think is pretty good. We have some nice parks around here. And I think if you want to go shopping and go to the pharmacy, those things are okay as well. Things in place are like the social distancing is very important. This uh, two meters, which I think is, yeah, people don't really seem to understand the two meters thing. And I've seen an awful lot of people getting very close, especially young people. They seem to be a bit thick, um, not really following the rules because uh, when you cough, all the spittle comes out of your mouth and in all that spittle which is coming up from your lungs is where the virus is so if you kind of stay two meters the water droplets will hopefully fall before they get to two meters and that's kind of like it's a small barrier since people aren't really wearing many masks or anything it's kind of hopefully going to slow down the the, um, the spread of it i think um yeah being shut down for two weeks even though, yeah, I think an awful lot of people are in deep shit in terms of economic stuff, including ourselves, of course, myself and my wife and my son. Um, we'll see what happens. I think our health is more important than the economy, more important than having stability at this stage. Let's just press pause and hopefully things will be back to normal. Well... I actually hope things don't go back to normal because normal has been not the best really. I think socially the whole world is kind of starting to realise that this thing has really shown the inadequacies, the cracks in society that uh, if a thing like this comes along we're not ready, we're not prepared and hopefully this moment of being able to just pause maybe people are going to start thinking about okay is this the society we want to live in? That having money and having all these things is the only way to be successful. When we have like a health system, which is really ramping up to be very good. But I know my mother, she had a fall a couple of weeks ago before all of this and she cut her head and she went into the hospital at four o'clock in the afternoon and she wasn't seen to until two o'clock in the morning. And this is a 90 year old woman and she was bleeding all day. And it was only at two o'clock at night that she finally got seen and they started out the cut. So when you think about things like that in a normal day, I don't know how they're going to really manage this situation. So I do know a few people in the medical profession and they're really kind of putting themselves on the line to kind of go in and do their job. So anything I can help to do that in terms of staying at home and doing nothing. <laughs> Which is something I do pretty well anyway. <laughs> um, I think that's probably something I should do. Uh, so let's hope, anyway, these two weeks will kind of see the the curve being um, flattened because the health system is not going to be able to deal with this surge of cases that they're expecting. So all we can really do is try and kind of taper that. It might end up spreading for a bit longer but at least it's not going to hit a critical mass where we don't have the hospital beds and the medication to deal with it. 
there's an awful lot of misinformation regarding this um, this virus. Uh, I do see people thinking that it's the government kind of using all their powers to kind of take away our rights and all this. But I think at the moment, anyway, our politicians in Ireland, we have uh, Leo Varadkar, who's they're not in government anymore because we're in a weird situation that there has been an election and they lost an awful lot of seats so they can't form a government but they're still staying on and trying to form a government while all this goes on with other parties which have become more successful but I'm actually glad that the Taoiseach or Prime Minister we have is still in charge because he's really kind of starting to show that he, he knows what to do because he is a he's a doctor, and um, our minister for health is also a doctor, and both of them are kind of taking scientific uh, approaches to this rather than economic at this point. And I know Leo Recker, I think his husband or his boyfriend, and um, he's also a doctor, so he's working in the hospitals. So whatever decisions our prime minister is making is also for his good. So it kind of puts them in a bit of a bind to get things right. Um, I'd be interested to hear from other people around the world how they think their government is doing. So far I think my government is doing okay considering this this uh, the situation we're all in. I think it's good that they have um, they've shut down. They're also kind of in putting in place a kind of a UBI for people who are losing their work, their jobs. And my first time in ever that I've actually applied for some of that help from the government because a lot of my jobs have fallen through for the summer. It's not something I've uh, I've been working 20 years as self-employed and I've never actually asked for any handouts from the government. But this time I thought because I have people around me to take care of like Fintan, my, my son and my wife who's job has also pretty much fallen through that we really need to kind of um, accept what help is out there uh, having Fintan at home is kind of it's a I have to say it's a joy we did take him out of school a few days before they closed the schools here because he had a tiny cough and didn't want him to be bringing that into school whatever it was we knew it was just a cough and he's fine he's grand he's uh, never been healthier but I think we have to be kind of careful. If you see any kind of medical problems, just isolate. And he's fine, and we're all fine, we're all good. And it's kind of nice to be able to go out for a walk with him, Hinton. And I'm kind of, we're doing some homeschooling, even though he's not in school, he's in preschool. But it's given us an opportunity to kind of teach him stuff, and for me especially, to teach him stuff that kind of my childhood was about in terms of making kind of bow and arrows and catapults and just playing in nature it's kind of it's a I always remember that film the one called uh, La Bella Via or something whatever it's an Italian movie uh, Beautiful Life it's the translation but it's about um, a guy in a concentration camp and how he's trying to kind of keep his child kind of thinking that it's all a game in a way, even though such disastrous things is going on. Well, in a way, I'm kind of trying to do the same with my son, Finton, because he's only five, less than five, and trying to kind of educate him about what's actually going on in the world. For him, it's kind of, children are very malleable, but um, what I've decided to tell him that it's a zombie apocalypse that's happening. And so making our bow and arrows and catapults and making him keep away from people, the other zombies, it is kind of the best approach. He understands it, and it's uh, it's fun as well. But he knows actually what's going on. I explained to him about how the virus works, and I know it's kind of strange to say that to a five year old, but he's pretty good at uh, at picking it up. He understands. He knows how to. He knows how important it is to wash his hands, not to touch anything when we're outside, and he's actually yeah, he's doing very well. I think we're all doing very well. But this is kind of day. 17, 18 of a lockdown trying to kind of work out what I'm going to do and that's why I think I'm going to start doing this kind of vlog just kind of to keep myself sane 
and also maybe to share my experience about what it's like in it and maybe give some tips and tricks that might kind of come to mind as this goes on because I know we're all at home I see everyone has kind of moved home with their laptops and they're doing their video calling and all that so hey why don't I I know how to video not very well at this point <laughs> Um, I was going to use a bigger camera, a more high-tech camera, but now at least with my phone I can actually see it as a monitor. And uh, I'm not looking for any full HD 4K video quality out of this. This is really just for fun. So um, yeah, hope people, hopefully people will kind of follow along and share their experience down in the comments. Because I'd be very interested to see how the world is, the whole world is reacting to this. So I know every country is slightly different, their governments are slightly different, their governments have certain priorities over other countries and um, I know we're kind of, we're a few weeks ahead of say America um, or a few weeks behind Italy and China and I'm just hoping that putting these things in place now is going to help slow it down and get us through this. So anyway, I'll stop this here now and uh, tune back in tomorrow when um, we can uh, talk a bit more and see where I am. This is my son's bedroom. I have a blackboard behind me that uh, has become my studio, my film studio. And I think it might be handy to be able to draw things on the board, ideas and stuff like that. So it looks like I'm a scientist if you probably look at the, um, the thumbnail of this. But uh, I'm not. I'm just a starving artist. Um, anyway, I will talk to you tomorrow. Watch yourself. Good luck. Stay safe and wash your hands.